In this research, we investigate the use of tablets for group working. Tablets. Everyone's got one. People love them. But are they just another instance of personal computing, or can they be more? Can they support collaborative creation? There has been extensive work on supporting collaborative creation with devices. It tends to fit into three categories. Using personal devices and collaborating over the network. Using large interactive services. Systems that combine the two approaches. Certainly tablets can be used as personal devices, but can they enable something else? In this work, we investigate the possibility of using tablets as scrap computing. This notion, envisioned by Mark Weiser, likens tablets to scrap paper. They both support individual and group working and fluid transitions between the two. To investigate this workflow, we sought a meaningful application for collaborative creation. We started with the idea of families working with technology. Unfortunately, digital devices often separate families rather than bringing them together. We focused on the consequences parlor game, where players independently contribute a body part, folding the paper to hide their contributions. At the end, they reveal their joint creation. Usually, it's a pleasant surprise. We developed an iPad app based on that game. We then used that app to compare tablet and paper use. We built on the consequences game, having players draw simultaneously and including a naming task at the end. We closely matched the tablet and paper versions. We conducted two studies of families playing both the paper and tablet versions. The first was at a science festival, with plenty of players. The second followed up with detailed analysis of seven family groups. We analyzed both the group products and process. So what did families produce? We rated the creations for originality and cohesiveness, with tablet creations coming ahead in both categories. Why? First, drawing with fingers promoted embodiment. Here, a six-year-old checks his fingers for paint. Second, the digital tool left traces of brush color and size that the next player could use. How did families work together? Consistently, families preferred the tablet version of the game. Inventive use of the drawing tools, such as simultaneously drawing and changing colors, came mainly from children. The group naming task increased engagement and ownership. Remarkably, the style of work, such as how people shielded their individual drawing, varied more by family than by medium. What did we accomplish? We provided a proof of concept for tablets as scrap computing. Like paper, tablets can be passed and shared. This ownership model, where devices are communal resources that can be passed around to transfer data, provides a striking contrast to the dominant paradigm of personal computing. Thanks to our participants and colleagues, and thanks for watching.